breaking news out of uh, the Middle East, the deadly suicide attack in Afghanistan. CBS News correspondent Mandy Clark has the latest from the capital city of Kabul. Kabul's morning rush hour turned again into carnage. A minivan packed with 1,500 pounds of explosives pulled up to American convoy and detonated. The blast so loud it was heard all over the city. The Taliban were quick to claim responsibility for the attack, saying the bomber was a man from Kabul. Local security forces speculate that he must have been driving the explosive-laden vehicle around town for a while, looking for a target. He found it when he spotted the American convoy passing these government buildings. That the area was full of local civilians didn't stop him from pulling the trigger. The shockwave was so powerful it hit eight vehicles, including a public bus packed with civilians, students on their way to university, government officials on their way to work. American troops arrived at the scene to help with the rescue and collect evidence. This was the first major attack on the capital since February. Last week, the Taliban announced what it calls a spring offensive. Today's attack could just be the beginning. Mandy Clark, CBS News, Camp Dwyer, Afghanistan. A lot happens early on The Early Show, weekday mornings on CBS.